بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ویلکم یو آل ان ایپ سیکس آن لائن سپورٹ این اسائنمنٹس ٹیٹوریل فار ویک سکس آئی ایم زبیار زاگ فرام اے پی ایس چک دمنی دا گریٹ ایس ایٹ این سبجیکٹ ایس بائیو لوجی یو مسٹ ہیو فالوئنگ بک بیسک سٹیشنری این گیجٹس کونٹنٹس انکلوڈ ڈی وائز بریک اپ اوبجیکٹیوز انٹری آف پلاس موڈیوم ان مینز بلڈ ریسپی ایس چپٹر نمبر ٹو سالوینگ اپ آئی لوجیکل پرابلم ابجیکٹیو ایس ایٹ دا انڈ آف دس ویک یو وڈ بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹین اباؤٹ دا انٹری آف پلاس موڈیوم ان مینز بلڈ فرام ٹیکس بک پیجز ٹوئنٹی فائیو ٹو ٹوئنٹی سکس اینڈ ناؤ ایٹس ٹائم ٹو شیئر دا ڈے ٹو ٹاسک نیکسٹ gets into the blood of men. Biologists were having following observations. Malaria is associated with marshes. Drinking water of marshes does not cause malaria. From these observations, it can be concluded that plasmodium was not in the marsh water, but it must be carried by something that comes to marsh water. In 1883, a physician AFA King listed 20 observations. Some important observations of King were people who slept outdoors were more likely to get malaria than those who slept indoors. People who slept under the fine nets were less likely to get malaria than those who did not use such nets. Individuals who slept near a smoky fire usually did not get malaria. On the basis of these observations, King suggested a hypothesis that mosquitoes transmit plasmodium and so are involved in the spread of malaria. Following deductions were made considering the hypothesis as true if mosquitoes are involved in the spread of malaria, then plasmodium should be present in mosquitoes. And a mosquito can get plasmodium by biting a malarial patient. In order to test the above deductions, Ronald Ross, a British Army physician working in India in 1880s, performed important experiments. He allowed a female Anopheles mosquito to bite a malarial patient he killed the mosquito some days later and found plasmodium multiplying in mosquito's stomach. The next logical experiment was to allow an infected mosquito having plasmodium to bite a healthy person. If hypothesis was true, the healthy person would have got malaria. But scientists avoid uh, scientists avoid using human beings for experiments when results can be so serious. So Ross used sparrows and redesigned the experiments. He allowed a female Culex mosquito to bite on the sparrows suffering from malaria. Some of the mosquitoes were killed and studied at various times. Ross found that plasmodium multiplied in the wall of mosquitoes stomach and then moved into mosquitoes salivary glands. He kept some mosquitoes alive and allowed them to bite healthy sparrows. Ross found that the saliva of the infected mosquito contained plasmodia, that is the plural of plasmodium, and these entered the sparrow's blood. When he examined the blood of these previously healthy sparrows, he found many plasmodia in it. And in the end, the hypothesis was was tested by the direct experimentation on human beings. In 1898, Italian biologist allowed an Anopheles mosquito to bite a malarial patient. The mosquito was kept for a few days and then it was allowed to bite a healthy man. The person later became ill with malaria. In this way, it was confirmed that mosquitoes transmit plasmodium and spread malaria.
and here you can watch the Aedes mosquito which transmits dengue fever. See how it is different from Anopheles. Did you know that mosquito sucks blood thrice of its own weight? And a mosquito requires a blood meal to develop her eggs. So only female mosquitoes bite while, while the male mosquitoes feed on nectar as do the female when she is not full of eggs. Don't worry, it would take them about 1, 1.2 million bites to drain all the blood from your body. Have you ever thought that why the welts appear after the mosquito biting? The female injects the saliva that makes penetration of her mouth parts easier and prevents the blood from clotting. Welts are red itchy bumps that may appear after the bite of the mosquito are actually an allergic reaction to the saliva. And now it's time to discuss the home tasks for the day 2 that are reading and memorizing concepts from textbook pages 25 to 26. What were the AFA King observations, state observations, hypothesis and deductions for how plasmodium gets into the blood of men? State Ronald Ross first and second experiment. Why does female mosquito bite? Why the welts appear on your skin after female mosquito biting? Day 2 tasks completed. Alhamdulillah. Thank you and have a nice day.